<laughs> now launching podcast simulation loading podcast hollow deck in three two one And it is time for Planet Sus After Show. Sus. Sus. We all survived. Sus. Sus. I almost didn't. Not sus. Thank God I had my huggle. <laughs> sus. <laughs> so sus. Well, let's open up the beer cooler first. JL Beer Cooler, it's cooler than you think. JL Beer Cooler, it's cooler than you drink. It's cooler than you drink, yeah. So what's in like uh, the cooler opening with that reaction? <laughs> <laughs> what's in this month's beer cooler? It's from Spillion River Brewing. It is their Reach Around IPA and also their Space Otter American Pale Ale. All right, so stay tuned to the end of this uh, after show. Will we rate the beer? We rate it uh, one through six. This is based on a six pack, which makes sense to everybody in the world, except for one lone Canadian in Kissimmee. Before we recorded the last show, my daughter informed us that we are doing a Among Us episode five years too late. So that was fun. No, it's five months too late. Oh, is it five months? Well, that's not so bad. Speaking of Among Us, we have any Among Us facts? Well, I decided to switch it up a little bit. Oh, no. It's a piece of paper. Surprise. I don't have anything. No, I have decided to turn this into a little bit of a game called Two Truths and a Lie. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I'm going to read three facts. Sabrina Sus. (laughs) I have to agree. Sabrina Sus. 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 Totally am. This is not in my contract. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So I'm going to read three facts. Okay. And only two of them are truths. One is a lie, and you have to figure out which one is a lie. All right. All right. So it was first released, excuse me, it was first released on iOS and Android devices in June of 2018 and Windows in November of 2018 and featured cross platform playing. Sus. Well, we we have to get all of (laughs) them. I was going to say it after every single one. Yeah, you know. Second one is it was released for, Nite- for Nintendo Switch in December of 2020. Number three, they have no plans to release on any other platform as Nintendo Switch sales actually bomb. I'm, I'm going s- the first one. I'm sus. going the first one is sus as well. I'm going the last one. It is the last one. Um, sus. Jail <laughs> sus. <laughs> He's sitting next to the paper. I drink and I know things. <laughs> yeah. He's sus. Um, yeah, so they... Um, they actually have planned to release for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series XS sometime this year. Okay, see, our daughter's wrong. The game's not dead. They're still releasing it They're everywhere. Still releasing it's only it. dead because she quit playing it. Jocelyn yeah. Sus. Jocelyn Sus. Jocelyn Sus. Sus. All right. Okay, so the next three. Uh, the game was inspired by the party game Mafia. The game was inspired by the science fiction horror movie The Thing. Or the game was inspired by the James Bond franchise. The last one. I'm going first one. First one. It is the last one. The game was not inspired by James Bond franchise. It was actually inspired by the party game Mafia. I don't even know what that is. Fiction horror movie, the thing. See, I used to play Mafia, but I went to school like out on Long Island, so I'm not actually sure it was the same game. (laughs) That wasn't a game, Sabrina. They really were Mafia. (laughs) (laughs) You know that explains a lot, actually. Okay, so next set of three. Anywhere from four to ten players can play it one time. Crew members are assigned tasks at the beginning of the game that are mini-game setups to be completed around the map. And once a player dies, they become a ghost, but are still able to help their living teammates by completing tasks. I know this one. Wait, can you repeat the first one? Anywhere from four to ten players can play at one time. Uh, it's the second one. 
Sure, I'll go with the second it's one. It's the second one. No, it's actually the first one. Um, anywhere from four to 15 players can actually play What's at one time. What's the second time. one? Crew members are assigned tasks at the beginning of the game that are mini games set up to be completed around the map. I didn't think they were assigned. Yeah, I thought you could do whatever you want. Uh, I'm going off of Wikipedia here, folks. Okay. Wow, that's a reliable source. Dang straight. Well, I guess if... I mean, you don't always get the same tasks per game. Like, there's... I don't know how many tasks... Like, say there's 10 tasks... You could get like five out of ten, and they're random, so maybe that's what they mean. Oh, maybe. so half of them are random and the other half are not? Well, you don't get every task that the ship can do with every game, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah, no. so in other words, so say there's like 20 tasks that can be done, yes. they're only going to choose five each game. Right. Oh, so you hmm. might get the same five every single game, but it's... That way I can kill yeah. more people. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's kind of like riding in a rock and roller coaster. There's five different cars, and each car has a different soundtrack. But if you get the same soundtrack every single time, you're in the same car. Lies. A rock and roller coaster? Huh? That's actually true. Is it? I didn't know there was different soundtracks. Yeah. Lies. The Associated Press said the game was the most downloaded game in October of 2020 in the App Store. The game had roughly 300 million players worldwide as of November 2020. Or Among Us was offered as a free game on the Epic Game Store during one week in May of 2021. What was the first two? The Associated Press said that the game was the most downloaded game in October of 2020 the first in one. the App Store. And number two was the game had roughly 300 million players worldwide as of November 2020. I'm going number two. Are you? That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Uh, I got up. this special chair just so that I could record <laughs> and fart in it and poop yeah. at the same time. Yeah, he's been farting in it this whole show. Um, it's called the gamer toilet chair. I'm going number three. Three? Yeah, sure. It's not number three. I don't know. <laughs> one, two, or three? I said one. Oh, okay. It's actually number two. Um, they Which I'm had... doing right now. <laughs> oh. uh, they had roughly 500 million players worldwide as of November 2020. I downloaded it from the Epic Game Store when it was free, so I knew it wasn't number three. Aha. Okay. It has won four out of the f- six awards it's been nominated for. The only award they lost was the Labor of Love Award from Steam Awards. Wait or Labor of Love Award. You said four out of six. These are just facts, buddy. So you said one. <laughs> Take it. One of these is not true. Um, you just have to figure this Remember, out. Remember, she didn't finish her mechanical engineering. That's right. Or her civil engineering. I four don't out have of to five. If they only lost one thing, like she's saying. Well, that's for you to figure out which one's wrong. It's Wikipedia. They were nominated in two separate categories for the game awards: best mobile games and best multiplayer multiplayer game. I'm going number one. I'm going the one with the weird math. Yeah, I'm going with number one because of the bad math. It's number two. <laughs> it's number one. <laughs> um, they've actually won five out of the six awards, including Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award and a Webby Award. Oh, we they won a, won a Webby? Webby. They could they, afford they to put their name into the Webby Awards? They did. Um, we I, were also uh, offered a, to put our name into the Webby Awards for $15,000. We could put our name in. That go up against Joe Rogan. <laughs> we would have won. Oh, yeah, we definitely would have won. We so, have hair. We have. <laughs> <laughs> so does Joe Rogan. It's just on his back. <laughs> uh, and then my last three that I have is the first map was released. The first map released was the airship and was based on a location in the Henry Stickman universe. Um, number two, Mira Q was the second map released and was a tightly packed headquarters or three a third map polis is set in a research station three two what's the henry stickman universe it's a stickman name henry Mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously they have a name. I'm going number one. Henry Stickman. It is number one. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one was actually called the Skeld, um, and the airship map was the fourth one released. And I the fourth Chris. one airship was actually based off of a location in the Henry Stickman universe. I Lies. know so much about Among Us. I'm Chris. Chris oh, is this us. Is me. It's like I did research for a script for once. <laughs> well, Jazz <laughs> wanted to play it for a while, but you wouldn't give her your phone. No, we. we, <laughs> we he mean, was bu- he was playing. Yeah, because he had the free download. Orange is sus. <laughs> yeah, that's all it was. Is these little kids would get in there, and then you'd be trying to do these tasks, and within five seconds, 
they would ring that damn emergency button, and then they would just accuse some random person without having any information, and then it didn't become that fun. And then people would just get ejected. Oh, yeah, blame the little kids. Not it was. The, not the grown men who are trolling there. And anything. they did. They said, you know, everything was sus, and you're like, why? Why? And it's like, I don't know, he's just acted sus. What did he do that acted sus? I don't know. He just acted that way. <laughs> well, they're just tiny little circle things with legs. How did he act sus? I don't know. He's just sus. Okay. So let's just eject. Man, I wish there were some people I could eject out of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't no, eject I'm me. Sus. I'm here. Sus. Unfortunately. Sus. Yeah. But then he'd be a ghost and he'd never leave. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Well, wait a minute. So do they just, are they just ghosts over that ship? Because if I leave the ship, does he have to stay at the ship? No, they're ghosts for every single video game they play after that. <laughs> I don't understand your question. Like, when you become a ghost outside of the ship. Like, are you stuck on that ship for the rest of your like, undead life? Yeah, you're a ghost, but you continue to do the tasks. In that ship. God, that's like the worst thing ever. No, you, really go, you jump to it. a different video game. What does that mean? I don't know. You're course in that ship. Until that game is you're over. You're still playing that game. You're so if I leave the game, game and the ghost stays, then I don't have to have him for the rest of my life because I left the game, right? Well, if you yeah, if you leave the game, that's like any game you leave. You're no longer playing the game. But if you get Excellent. killed, <laughs> Chris is sus. <laughs> if you get killed, you become a ghost in that game, and you continue playing the game, and you continue doing the tasks. That sounds like a miserable life, for right? Us. Uh, yeah, it, it's it is weird, and you, you know who the imposter is because you got killed by the imposter. But you can't communicate with the live players; you can only oh. talk to the dead players. Mm. And you can continue to try to save the ship for some reason. I say I'm dead. Let the ship burn. I got killed with my one little bone Sus. sticking out. But then you would have no but purpose. In theory, though, you could still win and be dead. Like if you complete all the tasks. Before I'm confused by this now. So am I. I have no idea what's going so, on. So, okay, because, like, from what my understanding of the game is, is that in order for the imposters to win, they have to compl- they have to stop, the like, the people from completing their tasks. Correct. Mm-hmm. Without being discovered. Without being discovered. In order for the crew members to succeed, they have to either find all the imposters, or they have to complete their tasks with having more crew members than imposters on board. I or the imposters can win by having more imposters than crew or like we didn't uh, put it in the ratio. script but the imposters can also sabotage things yes as they're going along they can undo tasks that are done or or like turn off the ship's oxygen and everyone has to try to get the ship's oxygen back on before completing their tasks and other stuff besides just killing them it's actually more fun to be an imposter than to be a crew member in that game it sounds it yeah yeah to be stealthy and sneaky but see i always played like we like i said we used to play the game mafia because it's literally you just use like a deck of we never there there was never an actual like card game called not there might be now but when we played it we played it with a deck of cards and so everybody was given like you deal that you would sort through and you would grab like spades would be the mafia people so if we were playing with a group of oh, 10 oh okay exactly um if we were playing with a group of 10 then you would have like uh, like three or four mafia. There's a card game that's similar called Werewolf. Okay. They made a movie about it. Well, they made a couple movies about they, it. They were in London. It's called Werewolf Within. It's oh. a new one. You should check it out. Didn't they also end up in Paris? Yeah. That was the American one. Yeah, the drummer uh. from uh, the Oneiders became a werewolf. <laughs> oh, that thing you do. The Wonders. It's pronounced Oneiders. The Oneiders. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking and about. You that thing you never do. watched the O'Netters? Do that You've never thing seen that you thing you do. do. No, I've never seen that thing you do. Take my Come on. And break nope. it you should da, watch da, that da, thing da. you do. I know it's a Tom Hanks movie, yes. but it didn't seem that interesting. Do that no, you thing watch it. you do. He's and like a I band manager, right? watches that right? show and I quit. <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> Isn't he like a band manager over like a Motown band or something? No, they're a rock <laughs> no, they're, band. They're, they're, they're rock right. band. That is, that is exactly how they're, I'm going to quit this show, though. I hope everybody white. realizes it. You're going to quit this show? When I do, that's exactly how I'm going to do it. You have plans of quitting this show? No, I just always wanted to quit something like the guy in that thing you do. You had your opportunity at Rock and Brews. Right. Which would have been fairly appropriate. I quit. I still work there. Yeah. So I still well, have the there chance. There you go. You quit uh, that. He's like, I, quit. I can't wait to get out of here. Oh, can you stay? Okay, I'll stay. 
<laughs> yeah, one day a week. <laughs> He's only doing it for beer. It's true. They pay you in beer? No, I get paid in actual money and just sample a lot of beer. Okay. I actually, uh, okay, I'll cover your ears. As soon as we get a big contract to do the show, we'll plan on firing JL. <laughs> right before we collect the money. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> sus. This this is how everything happens. Chris is sus. Sus. Then I will be the only original member member from day one. I'll, I c- I don't have to share that title with anybody. I've done all the work. <laughs> you did get rid of several show members. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> I don't know. I keep trying to quit. We know. <laughs> <laughs> I moved to St. Augustine for eight months. Almost a year. Eight months does not a year make. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Did you read that off of a fortune cookie? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a play off of uh, lines from Barefoot in the Park. What? What? Yeah. It's cause Is that it's, a play? It is, but it's also a movie with Henry Fonda and... Tom Hanks. Um, I'm yeah. Who? who um, but manager. the can actual we, line can is you six something days is recent? not a week make. No. Yeah. Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks plays a, a park manager for a Motown park. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> She's referencing like a movie from like the silent film era. Uh, from the 60s. Thank you. When did he get a middle initial? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? David S. Pumpkins. You guys oh. said any questions, and that's all I could think of. Okay. When did he get a middle initial? And I'm David Pumpkins. <laughs> so you never played Among Us? No. I've never played Among Us. Le- well, I, I, I know you haven't. Lex has never expressed any interest in playing it? Oh, he has. He talks about it all the time. Well, I mean, they have been playing it here. Yeah, I know. In person. Oh, yeah. The kids, the <laughs> the kids, kids play, play live person. action. Yeah. They were playing live action, like, in recess. He would yeah. tell me about it. I'd be like, what? <laughs> so how do yeah. they kill each other? I don't know. It's best not to or ask Or do they questions. just run around and scream that people are sus? Because that's all I feel like that game They is. probably are just doing that, but I don't care. It gets energy out of them, and I don't know. They probably yeah. do it like tag. Probably. Yeah. Live action Among Us. <laughs> they, it. they played it live action. <laughs> it was like the Lion King live action, except it was half CGI. <laughs> or like almost all CGI. Well, if it wasn't already based on a movie, they could probably make a movie out of it. I know. Yeah. Wait, it's based on a movie? The Thing. Didn't you hear? Weren't you? Pick? I don't listen. She doesn't listen. I told you, I don't. You've even... never watched The Thing? Listen, I no. don't think I've no, seen the original it. or the prequel. No, that's the is same that, title. Is that with the guy that's green a in a swamp? No, that's Swamp Thing. Oh, see, there was a thing Seriously? in there. I didn't know it was a prequel. Yeah. What is the thing? I don't like from Does Fantastic Four. Does the newer Four? one make sense I to you think? now? Yeah, oh. I like the newer one. Is it the hand from the Adams family? That's thing, right? No. That's thing. No, thing is the rock guy in Fantastic Four. So okay, so I did say that. You did say Fantastic Four. No, the thing, yeah. the the one that they did with like Mary Elizabeth Winstead and all that. It's I a don't... prequel to the Kurt Russell one. She doesn't really. She's not super into horror movies. I've never been in a horror movie. I live in one. <laughs> so do uh... I. We used to have random marbles fall around our house. Was your we... first horror movie The Ring? Didn't even have marbles in the house. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is true. One of our houses we lived in was definitely haunted. Yes. Just reminds me of, what is that movie, Hook? I've lost my marbles. Yes, they're in my house. <laughs> well, not my new house, my old house. So what was the movie The Amityville Horror? Was yeah, The Ring your first horror No, movie? I think I saw, um, what was the one with Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford? What Lies oh, Beneath? Oh, What Lies Beneath. Yes, I think I saw not that Not a horror one. movie. Yeah, not a horror movie. That's, it was scary. <laughs> yeah, I. They took me to go see that in the, the movie bathtub theater. scene. Scared me. I don't know. <gasps> I jumped from the moment like she plugged in the curling iron or blow dryer in the socket. Yeah, popped. like my um, first horror movie was Black Cauldron. Hold on a second. Maybe I've seen another one. Hold on. I'm thinking. I've seen the no. original Omen. The Ring was my first horror movie. You may- <laughs> That's what I just asked yes, you. Yes, I'm agreeing with you. The Ring was my first horror oh movie. Oh, my gosh. I haven't Since seen that one. Since you don't consider What Lies Beneath. Oh, maybe, That's not a horror movie. Maybe I saw Disney's Haunted it's Mansion scary. before that. That's not a horror <laughs> that movie. That was That's a horror, horror movie for the wrong that reason. That is a horror movie. <laughs> yes, I saw Disney's The Haunted Mansion before I saw The Ring. It was and that was really... Short for horrible. 
Yes, <laughs> that was a horror movie. And you don't like horror movies, Sabrina. No. Which is probably why you made it through The Omen, which is probably one of the well, most boring horror movies I, ever made. It was slow enough that I was able to yeah. like make fun of it, so I was okay with that. And then my friends also had me I'm watch Poltergeist. I'm doing this for you, Damien. I'm doing this for you. Yeah, then she jumps out of the window of like... Like, you could cut that movie down story. to 10 minutes of good quality, and then the rest is just I mean, in my head, boring. that's basically how it runs. I just, like, get snippets and cuts, because I, you know, I only watched it one time. So I just think, like, Rottweiler barking, woman jumping out a window, evil child. It's a hellhound. Same thing. But I've seen a lot of horror movies since. Well, yes, because I, I like not. horror movies, so I, I make you watch them kicking and screaming. Yeah. You I've like The pulled- Conjuring. No. Okay, we never watched it in the house for a reason. I watched it in the movie theater because if you bring them in your house, then it's really scary. But you can go to the movies and watch them, and it's fine. Okay. Yeah, no, haven't seen that. Don't plan on seeing it. I saw the, the first saw Sinister Poltergeist. was good. Don't know what that is. Sinister? The first one. Not the second one. The first one. It's another James Wan movie, I think. James Bond? Wan. That's what I heard too was Wong. James Bond. James Bond. I believe. I could be wrong, but I think like he does a lot of the horror movies now. Yeah, like Aquaman. Did he do Aquaman? Yes. Yep. I don't know if that's And Fast and Furious Nine. I've seen Aquaman. <laughs> that's the scariest one of all with that invisible villain. You can't see him. Nope. Scariest invisible I family I've ever seen. I think I've only seen one Fast and the Furious movie. <sighs> oh, they're fun. I like them. I'm not even sure I watched the first one all the way through. You have to but go they're into still them. VCRs. <laughs> they still VCRs? Wasn't yes. the first one? Wasn't the one it's chick not, from Lost in really? it? It was the very first one? Yes. yes. That's how long ago it was? Yes. yes. I don't remember the VCR stuff. I was in high school when it came out. Yeah. You have to go in. Just because you were still rocking your Betamax player, don't take it out on us, ColecoVision. Oh, I was never a Betamax fan. But you have to go in with the Fast and really Furious. Like Okay, with just, just going in to have a good time. Don't go in for, like, a story. Okay. You just want to go in for what weird, outrageous thing they can do with the cars, airplanes, trains. So. And it's like listening to this show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. We are the Fast and Furious go, podcast. Don't go in <laughs> We're family. Anything. We're family. We're <laughs> family. <laughs> like on my Facebook, somebody... All our pictures are somewhere in here. What? Where's mine? I don't have one. How come you only went with a picture in here, Sabrina? She gave us because one. I showed up with a headshot. She showed up with a headshot to a and radio show. I'm supposed to be hanging up family's photos. Yeah. Well, see how this is. We need a family. picture of you. You're on the on the uh, security system. You are <laughs> picture, which needs changed because it's still got Faraz and Nicole on there. But I yeah, forgot I mean, how I to. I didn't make the security system. I forgot how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to change them. That's why that's still there. Yeah, but I have a headshot. I sub. Applied my own picture for the room, <laughs> and Jocelyn hung that up, so we didn't yeah. even do that. Well, I was, I was for a while. I was like, I'd come in, and I was hidden someplace. Yeah, we're gonna take away teenage Sabrina's headshot. All right, <laughs> she's not allowed to have Early a family 20s. photo up until like she, it's a more recent one. I mean, I can print out my most recent one. So put up that ARP shot. I don't know. I I didn't really have plans Did you really to hang. Just say ARP shot. Yeah. What in the AARP? Did you know? I got to use my line. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that apparently you don't have to be like over 60 to sign up for AARP? No, it's over 50. It's 50. No, apparently you don't even have to wait that long. That's what I learned on TikTok. Okay, oh. well, do you have... Oh, well, yeah, because everything on TikTok is <laughs> true. Do you have an age or... Hang on, let me find it. She's not going to be able to find it. No. It's on TikTok. She's Speaking of things that are not true on TikTok, did you see the garlic up the nose thing that they've been doing? No. Oh, that just seems like a bad idea. You put garlic up your nose and it's supposed to clear out your sinuses. And basically these people put garlic up their nose for five, ten minutes. I don't know how oh, long. Oh, my God. And then when they pull the garlic out, all they do is they just the snot stuff. out it's these big. Out there, there is no minimum age requirement for ARP, just so you know. It's dedicated to people over 50, Okay, but we're, you don't actually have to be over 50. We, we're talking about garlic because they're well, Armenian. Yeah, Chris stuck some up his nose after I'm he got going done back doing to the Arp, grass today. And this is from their website. Our, it me, says, our audience is actually like between 25 and 45. So I don't, Are they though? They don't care. Sign up. Even if you're not over 50, you still get the ARP discount. I did sign up Hold and on, I got the free tote bag. Side deal. What did you call it? A, a deal Her huggle. with... 
with I ARP huggle. as well. Oh, I yeah. Do. You got another side deal going on. Maybe. <laughs> do you get a free huggle if you sign up for R A R R P or whatever? And a steak knife. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <It's about> shank. <laughs> With the garlic, don't stick garlic up your nose. Fresh. I found that out. It's bad for you. Well, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like eating a Tide Pod. Like, don't do that. Well, at least garlic is edible. <laughs> but you don't shove it all the way up your nose. You just kind of put it in your nose like little walrus teeth. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was sick with my allergies. And I saw it on TikTok, so I told them to like, do it. stick some garlic up your nose. All these guys are sticking up the garlic yeah. up their nose, and then there's big waterfalls of snot coming out. I said that'll clear you right out. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. You garlic, do it. it's going to burn. Pot? No, garlic. Oh. Not garlin. Oh. She told me to stick an RRP magazine <laughs> up my nose. I and told him I'd do it, it with him. Well, and then we'd both be in the yeah. hospital. Who's going to take care of the children? There's only we only one. have one. She's, yeah. He's going to take care of the child and the dog. Sabrina. And the lizards probably haven't been fed today. Sabrina. Yeah, I mean, that seems... they need to be fed today? Or yesterday. What about the snakes? Or probably the day before. I don't know when's the last time the snakes have been fed. The one's looking very hungry because it stares at me a lot now. You always know when, limo, yeah, you always know when she's hungry because she has her little neck out of her little rock. And when you walk by, she, like, follows you. Like, hello, why aren't you feeding me? And if it gets too hungry, that snake gets super aggressive. Like, the other snake is fine. Like, you can feed it. You could hand the mouse to it and be like, oh, thank you. Give you a little snaky high five. Real nice and calm. But her snake will, like, try to eat you through the glass. If it even smells food. She get hangry. What? Like her mama. Obviously, it's Laura's snake. Obviously. It's scary. It's so scary, even the resident snake handler doesn't want to feed it. That's Jocelyn. Mm. She's like, I don't want to feed that snake. It's I an mean, evil snake. I fed it when I got home from work one day. What day was that? That was last week. It. it was last week. I had to feed it when I got home from work. So they, they're they on their right feeding schedule. They're fine. Okay. Whatever day that was. Because Jocelyn didn't want to feed it because it was wanting to strike at her. Because it's evil. So yeah. I had to feed the snake. Did it try to eat you too? Have you been bit by her? No. Jocelyn's been bit by one of the snakes. Hers? The calm one that gave you a snaky high five. Well, that was when it was a little baby snake before it learned how to snaky high five. <laughs> it was a little love. I nip. just picture a snaky high five as a headbutt. No, it no, uses a tail. tail. Still, you in hold my your head. It's a headbutt. Nope. You hold your hand up, then it would be a snaky headbutt. You hold your hand up, it takes its tail, it slaps you on the palm, and says, "Hey, thank you." Guess we know who doesn't speak parcel tongue. Yep. <laughs> Found him. <laughs> Speaking of sneaky high fives, let's revisit the beer cooler. Say hello, cooler. Never run away. Never run away. Say hello, cooler. Never run away. Never run away. Say hello, cooler. Boom. Perfect. All right. Which one are we doing first, Jail? Let's reach around. Was Which, that the IPA? The, yeah, that's yes. the cloudier one. The uh, lighter one? The, I don't... the cloudier one. The lighter one. It technically looks cloudy, but... It, no. It's no, why does mine look cloudy? Because it's backwash. No. Well, I'll go first. Um, Chad from the Perfect Package podcast and Down to Folk sent us a bunch of this Mispillion brewery beers, and I think we've really only liked one of them. But this IPA, it's not, it's not too bad. It, I found it really drinkable it didn't have a too bad of a hoppy taste it had a pretty big hoppy finish which i'm not a dry big fan of but uh i'm gonna give it a four actually it it was all right i was surprised maybe because now i'm expecting such because i haven't been really a big fan of this brewery even though chad is like major into this brewery but this one was really good i would do this one again that's the reach around sabrina um I like that one better than the other one. It's a three for me. I mean, it tastes like an IPA. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, Laura. Wow, so descriptive. Mm. At least she knew what was going on this week. It's true. We gave her a month to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was g- thinking I wasn't going to like it, but it finishes somewhat clean. There's a bit of bitterness to it that I'm not a huge fan of, but... I can drink it. It's probably also because I drink more IPAs now. So I think my taste buds are just burned off my tongue. <laughs> um, 
but I'm gonna go with a three for it too. Like I wouldn't go crazy over it, but I could I could do three. All right, beer master. All right, it's light. It's dry roasted. Don't really get like a real hoppy finish to it. It's a little malty. I feel like I don't. It's not bad. I'll give it a three. All right. It's all right. Middle of the road for that one. Yeah, definitely middle of the road. Nothing. It reminds me of the Goose Island IPA. Just a very generic IPA. Dry roasted in a way. Like nothing crazy like in the hops where you get that citrusy that you want on normal IPAs that I bring in. All right. What's the second one? Space Otter. Yeah. It's a pale ale. Pale ale. All right. Laura? Um, I felt like they tasted the same to me. They're kind of brewed the same way. That's why. Like, yeah. pale ales are just, like, they're not as hoppy as IPAs, but they're very similar. Like, it's still kind of finished smooth, but it was still kind of really bitter. I'm going to also give this one a three. Okay. Like, I just feel like they were very similar to one another. I also felt they were very similar. But, once again, I don't know if it's because I was expecting such low scores to come from both of these. But I'm going to give it a four. But, yeah, the taste, there wasn't much difference between the two. I didn't really taste a whole lot. If you blindfolded me, I probably would have thought you gave me two of the same beers or were trying to trick me. So I'm going to give that one a four as well. Sabrina? I didn't like it. Um, it's a six. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's a one. Um, it kind of smells like when like a cat marks a spot with urine oh my god and then you don't like find it for like a few days i don't get that at all people no i don't get that either sabrina's drunk (laughs) it's a six (laughs) but to me that's kind of like what it smells like and it tastes about the same wow (laughs) i don't like it it's a one sabrina going off the rails yeah totally beer master this one was a lot smoother than the other one like it felt a little watered down not as uh, watered down like cat pee or watered no, down no, no, like no, no, no. <laughs> just like watered down not like as hoppy like you would get like with the bitterness from a pale ale thought it was very smooth but it had a decent flavor to it I'd give it a four why are you all looking at me because you're ruffling papers <laughs> why are you doing that while we're recording because I didn't want my script to get lost because when I have to edit I need the script there's one on the floor over here there's one on the bed right here but your guys are all jumbled up mine's no mine was placed in order one right on top of each other mine's still in order <laughs> mine's organized but you can't have it I know Sabrina keeps hers. I would just like yep. to reiterate that my ratings of four, since Chris like had to ruffle papers <laughs> as I'm doing it. <laughs> it's okay. It's my only segment I have. It's the only thing I have in life. You just did that. To me. It's fine. Do it again. No, I'm not gonna do it to jail again. It's the only way I could get him to do the show in the beginning. Because I went to him and I said I want to do a podcast. And I said, "What's a podcast?" He said, "What's a podcast?" This is a true story. I said, we could try beer on it every week. And he said, okay, I'm in. I don't care what it is. <laughs> That's actually really how I joined. And he said, I said, I'm going to ask a couple other people. And he said, <laughs> I'm okay with doing it with anybody except for Beep. And I said, well, I was going to ask Beep. I'm beeping out his name. <laughs> it's actually a true story. It is a well. true story. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> he goes, Okay. <laughs> but I'm drinking the whole time. <laughs> I think I knew who Beep was. <laughs> we'll talk about it after the show. Yes. He's like, I'm fine with anybody except for this person. And I'm like, well, here are the people I was thinking about. <laughs> and he's like, why? i like, because he knows things. I know exactly who this person is. Yes. <laughs> and he ended up not being the worst person to... Pass no. through the mics. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually enjoyed working with him on the show. <laughs> Up until Blanket Gate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I enjoyed working with him when he came back. <laughs> <laughs> so All you right. keep talking these clues. People now I have no out. idea who it is. Yeah. Dang it. He doesn't listen anymore. He's not going to know. That's right. He's going to file a lawsuit, too. <laughs> Get in line, buddy. <laughs> no, that's the other one. Yeah. He who shall not be named. Legitly. Well, that's our after show for the Planet Sus. Join us in about a month when we get to <laughs> we get another script written and produced and edited. 
I'm Christopher DeVos. I'm Sabrina Pierre. JL Chos. I'm Laura. Bye. Don't be sus. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs> Kong. Sus. sus. I'll have a script done in two weeks. Podcast 42 is performed by Christopher DeVos, JL Tros, Laura DeVos, and Sabrina Pierre. All celebrity voices are impersonated poorly in this particular episode. All information given may or may not be true. Sound design by P42 Incorporated and is recorded in the Podcast 42 studios. Logo by Cute Panda. Find Cute Panda on Facebook for commissions. Do music by Cremo. Find more music by Cremo on Cremo.net. Podcast 42 is a proud member of the Podfix Network. You've been listening to a podcast of the Podfix Network. Discover more audible gems like this at podfixnetwork.com. Make sure to catch up to the minute network shenanigans by following at Podfix on Twitter, official underscore Podfix on Instagram, at Podfix Network on Facebook. And make sure to subscribe to Podfix Presents wherever you choose to find podcasts. The Podfix Network, artist owned and loved.